Our quest for unusual items at this market began in Building 3, where Yoder's Lawn Furniture set up shop. Our products are made of 97% recycled milk jugs, and the 3% is the dye they add to it to color it. These sturdy pieces are made by an Amish family in Ohio. And while they didn't want to appear on camera, they did agree to an audio interview about their unique and popular furniture. The people need to know about this, you know, it's a great way to save the planet and work together. It will not rust or peel or crack or fade. It's UV stabilized, termite resistant. Even the salt water of the ocean won't damage it. It's assembled with the stainless steel hardware. You can also order the lawn furniture in custom colors for your favorite team. Across the hall, Missouri-based Indigo Imports was a popular destination for buyers attracted to pieces made out of reclaimed wood from India. As India continues to grow and see their economic expansion, when they tear down old buildings to build new infrastructure, we go ahead, take that wood, reclaim it, and build it into furniture product. For example, this bookcase served as a doorway in a residence hundreds of years ago. No, you could not find the craftsman to do this today to be economically feasible at all. Buyers looking for contemporary furniture were checking out Zuo Modern Space. This is the first time the California-based company has brought its offerings to this market, and they can probably claim the most colorful showroom. If you look at the influence that we have right now with the movies, soap operas, TVs, um, you know, sitcom comedies, uh, it's all about contemporary. Um, all the, you know, X, Y generation, the double, you know, the, all the young people, they want something different. They don't want the grandma furniture, they want something fashionable. Finally, we found Peacock Decor Lodge Living. The Alabama company makes one-of-a-kind furniture from trees. This piece came out of the Tuscaloosa tornado two years ago. I was able to come up with a sawmill. We take the logs, we slice the logs, normally two and a half to three inches thick, and then we air dry them, then we put them in a kiln. At that point, I take them back to the shop and we start making the furniture. Most of the time, it takes about a year to a year and a half process from time we cut the tree till we get it in a finished product. So whether it's unique furniture or more commonplace items, buyers can find it at this market. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.